Do asteroids have jobs? Well, if you are hankering for a hunk of chunk of commentary action, I am Thor of Thor News, your magic cat dragon, Action Jackson. Stay cool. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. And here we go. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a break from real life doom to talk about some fake asterisk asteroid doom. Can you handle some fake doom? Okay, let's go. We're over at the European Space Agency, their Hubble page. Remember, the Hubble telescope is the telescope that revolutionized astronomy. It's a telescope that has done so many amazing things. Science has decided not to replace it in 27 years. That's right, the best technology science has to offer you, the public who pays for everything, is a 27-year-old telescope. Wrap your mind around that. Maybe I'll take a break from, like, talking about great sciences for a second, you know? Like, wake up! Okay, here we go. And what's really great about the Hubble, because it's 27-year-old technology, you only take, like, four or five pictures, and then it loads up. And like, we can't take no more pictures, man. Even though, you know, like, your iPhone can take 60 frames a second, and it takes a couple months for this to take a few pictures or some shit. Hubble discovers a unique type of object in the solar system is brought to us 20th of September 2017. With the help of NASA and the ESA, the Hubble Space Telescope, a German-led group of astronomers, Operation Paperclip maybe? Is it the Operation Paperclip group? Maybe it's like their kids, you know? Astronomers have observed the intriguing characteristic of an unusual type of object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The two asteroids are orbiting each other and exhibiting comet-like features, including a bright coma, and a long tail. Wait, I know what this is. Against all odds, two asteroids found each other, fell in love, and they do what happens when two twin flames reach harmony in the universe. They begin to glow bright, just like comets. There you go. I science it up for you, but we'll read along anyways. This is the first known binary asteroid that's also classified as a comet. Interesting. The research is presented in a paper published in the journal Nature this week. It's exciting. This is the artist's impression. Apparently the two asteroids are shaped like a giant circle. That's weird. With a spotlight on them. Eh, this is weird. Even for weird space stuff, that's weird. In September 2016, just before the asteroid 288P, shout out to the crazy 88s, those kids are cool, made its closest approach to the sun. It was close enough to Earth to allow astronomers a detailed look at it using 27-year-old Hubble Space Telescope, where if the James Webb Space Telescope blows up on the rocket, it'll take them 50 years to replace it. Your mind around that. All right. The images of 288P, which is located in the asteroid belt, you've already said that, between Mars and... You literally said that. Like, what are you, bad in your article? You get paid by the word, buddy? Revealed that it was actually not a single object, but two asteroids of almost the same mass and size. Sweet. Orbiting each other at a distance of about 100 kilometers. The discovery was in itself an important find. Now we all understand the universe and how everything works and why it works the way it does so much better. Thank you, science. Because they orbit each other, the masses of the objects in such systems can be measured. And that's the whole thing, man. You know, like once we've measured the mass of something, it's like, boom, we know everything we need to know. We can tell you whether or not it wears boxers or briefs. We can tell you whether or not it is straight, gay, or bi-asteroidal. And we can tell you which movies it likes, whether it be drama or comedy. Get it? C-H-O... C-H? What the hell? C-O-M-E-T. C-O-M-E-T. Comedy. All right. Whatever. But the observations also revealed ongoing activity in the binary system. We detected strong indications of the sublimation of water ice due to the increased solar heating, similar to how the tail of a comet is created, explains Jessica Argwal. Argwal. I guess it's Agarwal. From the Max Planck Institute for the Solar System Research, Germany. The team leader and main author of the research paper, oh, I read that funny, is Max 288P, the first known binary asteroid that is also classified as a main belt comet. Wow, this story is just fascinating top to bottom. I think my pants just caught on fire. And that's weird because I'm not even wearing any. I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> shorts. I'm wearing shorts. Yeah, that's a fib too. <sighs> okay, back to the serious science. Understanding the origin and evolution of main belt comets, dash, asteroids orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. 
Holy crap! That show comet-like activity is a crucial element in understanding of the formation and evolution of the whole solar system. You see what happens, man, is when science figures out how our solar system was formed, every problem you've ever known, racism, poverty, homelessness, hunger, war, disease, just being stupid or mean or enjoying shot and fruit, all that stuff's going to go out the window. The second science figures out how the universe was created, all of our problems can be solved. That is why science spends so much time and so much money trying to figure it out. It's a crucial element in understanding the formation and evolution of the whole solar system. Among the questions main belt comets can help answer is how water came to Earth. Let me tell you how water came to Earth. When the Earth was expanding, the super hot core caused steam up on the surface, and then it gets trapped by the magnetosphere in the atmosphere, and then it falls back down to Earth as water. I mean, you guys say it all in all your old videos. It's like ESA and NASA were like, oh yeah, that's how water happened. And then they were like, no, 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 we changed, we changed our minds. So, so could we have 50 more billion dollars to figure out how water happened on Earth? Since only a few objects of this type are known, 288P presents itself an extremely important system for future studies. Cha-ching. Oh, am I being cynical? Can't imagine why that would be. The various features of 288P, a wide separation of the two components, near equal component size, high eccentricity and comet-like activity also make it unique among the few known wide asteroid binaries in the solar system. The observed activity of 288P also reveals information about its past. Notes Aguaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa